between President Obama and President-elect Trump. The two are at odds over recent moves by Mr. Obama involving Israel and Russia. We've been breaking it down all weekend. Will these actions set up roadblocks for the new administration? Joining me now, you got a preview moments ago, Wall Street Journal White House reporter Peter Nichols. Thank you so much for joining us, Peter. Thank you, Liz. Good to be with you. Um, we, we've been breaking down both Russia and Israel for the better half of, you know, I would say the past couple of weeks, really, especially since the sanctions were, were in place, so a couple of days. Um, which move by President Obama took you by surprise the most, and also which one do you think is most influential? I mean, we've seen a lot of declarations, a lot of, a, a lot of moves. Well, I think the move that President Obama took against Russia was very significant. I mean, this is the sanctions that he imposed on Russia, expelling dozens of Russian diplomats. This probably qualifies as the one of the worst diplomatic crises we've seen since the end of the Cold War, and it puts Donald Trump in a very difficult spot because he wants a better relationship with Russia. He's not convinced that Russia was behind these hacking attacks and he might, might want to unravel these sanctions when he gets into office, but that would put him at odds with his own with party. With his own party, right? Exactly. Because there are members of Congress, so Lindsey Graham, John McCain, uh, Mitch Speaker McConnell, Ryan. Speaker Ryan, who think that these sanctions by Obama don't even go far enough. So this is, uh, Obama has put Trump in a very delicate spot, and it's another sign that this transition has become very messy. I, I actually want to play, if I can, a soundbite we, we heard from the president-elect last night during a New Year's Eve celebration where he talked about the relationship, or just the last time he spoke with President Obama. I want you to take a listen, and then I'll ask you a question. Listen here. Well, I spoke to him yesterday. He's been very nice on the phone. We have a very good relationship. Look, we have to protect Israel. Israel, to me, is very, very important. We have to protect Israel. And I disagree with what he's done. I, I listened to Secretary very unfair. He says he disagrees, but at the same time, on camera, he seems very cordial. I mean, we see some tweets where he's not quite as cordial, yes. but for me, I mean, I'm getting a lot of mixed uh, messages from both the current administration and the future. Well, there are mixed messages. I mean, they both have, are invested in the notion that they are getting along on a personal level. They had a 90-minute meeting in the Oval Office. Apparently, it went pretty well. Uh, they're talking to each other regularly, but there are serious policy differences that underlie this relationship, and we can't lose sight of that. Donald Trump has uh, made clear that uh, the U.N. resolution uh, condemning Israel over settlement building was not a good way to go. Uh, he tried to do what he could uh, to derail it, and President Obama is upset about that. Uh, his White House wants Trump to respect the one president at a time norm that Obama tried to uh, res respect in 2008 when he took office. So um, it's become a very complex relationship, and underneath this polite, cordial surface, you can see the clashing of an outgoing and incoming administration. But at the same time, there, there, there is always probably clashing, I would presume, but there's real consequences involved here. Yes, uh, well, there are, because what we're seeing is Obama on his way out the door is taking some executive actions that run counter to Trump's agenda. Uh, he has um, th this U.N. resolution condemning Israel is new. It's a break with uh, U.S. policy, decades of U.S. policy, and Trump will have to deal with the fallout and the consequences, as he will with the Russian sanctions. So what's happening is uh, very consequential. Obama is uh, doing other things, too. He's conserving more uh, land. Uh, he's setting aside more land for conservation purposes, which runs counter to Trump's uh, uh, policy pro-drilling uh, aspects of Trump's energy policy. So it's become very sticky, and my sense is that both sides would be very happy to see this transition end as soon as possible. All right. Well, they only have about 19 more days to go. So, yes. and, and in that time, in that meantime, we hope to have you back, Peter. Uh, anytime. Thanks Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks.